arriving here near the Gradal plant in Fort Smith, Arkansas. This is a route I used to take all the time when I was driving from Maverick. Because Maverick has a shipping yard right across the road from the Gradal mill where they handle all the steel bar shipping out of this plant but we're going to be entering from the back side going in to get a load of meal scale the turn in is just around the corner here Been here once before, probably you know a couple months ago to get a load of this stuff. So I uh, have some memory of it. Alright, let's get in here and see what we can do. I'm gonna need to get my safety gear on they're very very particular about you wearing your safety gear and I think I think uh, we have to take our bows out to get loaded here too not sure about that but the scale guy will probably tell me all right I'll get back to you okay so I got scaled in Basically that guy just scales you in and scales you out. Gives me a ticket like this. It's got my empty weight of 31.3 on there. And we're supposed to go down the road here and there's a, as I remember, a little office. And I think this little operation is run by a, an outfit called Phoenix. In fact, that's what it says here on the scale ticket, Phoenix Services. So it's kind of like they operate in here, you know, separately, but inside the Gerdau property in conjunction with them somehow. So I don't know if this other well, that's not an Oakley truck in front of me. I thought it was, but it isn't. I don't know if he's uh, just starting to get loaded or if maybe he's already gotten loaded and coming back for more. But, looks like there's uh, at least a couple of trucks here. It could be on lunch break. It's 12... 1210 right now so we could have us a little wait here you know anyway I'm gonna walk up and check in okay folks so the two trucks that were in front of me are dumping so they went to the right And I'm going to the left, but supposedly they're on lunch break for about 15 more minutes. But there's the little office building with a sign on it that says Phoenix Services. That's where you check in. And as I remember... The loading ramp is, okay, I can see it up here. You probably can't see it just yet, but uh, I guess I'll just pull up here, get positioned by the ramp here, go ahead and get my tarp out, and uh, man, I don't want to take my bows out if, uh, I think there's a vehicle behind me. I'm gonna see if he needs to get around me one of those big oh yeah he had to turn there right there okay so I'm gonna line up beside this ramp get my tarp off and uh, 
Wait a few minutes. Okay guys, I'm in the loading position, just waiting. Like I said, everybody's finishing up lunch break. But here's the setup, you know, they've got a ramp here where the uh, loading front end loader, as I remember, will just come up here. I'm kind of positioned with the middle of the trailer in the dump zone for now. I'll have them dump some in the middle and then I'll back up to get some in the front, pull up, get some in the back, you know, as we get our weight correct. So I've already got my, my tarp off. Give you a look. I've already rolled the tarp back and I've got all, all the bows turned aside except for the one in the very front and one in the very rear. So he'll be dumping right here. Alright. So there's the back side of the Gerdau plant over there. And then Maverick has a facility across the road where they handle all the shipping of the steel bars that they make here. But uh, several times I've had to deliver some uh, raw material type stuff over here, right over in there. And they do some live loading over there on that end of the building uh, for steel bars. But I'd say 80% of it gets handled across the road by uh, the Maverick facility. Anyway, that's what we got. Just waiting on a loader. All right, guys, there goes the first scoop. He said it normally only takes about three scoops at the most. So let's see how that one worked out. Got about 18 in the back. Yeah, a little, a little heavier in the front than the back. But this is not the levelest of ground, as you can see. So, yeah, who knows? So I think uh, at the most, according to the uh, the loader, is uh, two more scoops. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys. So according to the loader, he says he's put 23 tons or well, 46,000 pounds of product on my trailer. And according to my scales, we are pretty well loaded. So let's go scale out and see. Way I go. That's a good loader. He takes time to talk to you and listen to you. I have not put my bows or my tarp on yet. Because you never know. You know, you might at this point you might need to come back and get some more. So basically. Now we just have to go back out to the uh, scale, see how it looks, if it's all good, then I'll tarp and get my bows on first and then tarp. We'll be ready to roll. That's some dense product, man, I tell you. I was kind of surprised when he said he only put he said normally he'd only put about two and a half scoops on. He does a lot better than that other place in Little Rock we get loaded with mill steel, or Donafield it is, I should say. Okay, so here's a 
guy working on his trailer. Doing something in there. Yeah, when I had backed up there, I was gonna get him to put some more on the front. But once I backed up a few feet, the scales read differently. So I, I told him not to put any more on because the scales looked like they were right at about 34,000. So and he said, according to his weight, he had put 23 tons or 46,000 pounds on it. So that's, that's close enough. He said that's normally what he puts on Oakley trailers is 23 tons. look at my gauges again although this is not very flat kind of on a little incline at least it's level going side to side all right more later well guys my loaded weight he had me at 79.4 so that's pretty dang close I think that guy put a little more than 23 tons on there. But, you know, it's hard to tell. Uh, now I've got to pull over here and this street sweeper guy is wanting to... Uh, he's wanting to... Ah! Uh, pull on up here to the side he may not like it but I got two trucks behind me so okay well I got to get my bows put up and my tarp over all right guys real quick here's what the load looks like I just climbed back in here and got my bows put up still got to roll the tarp over but that's the load right there load of meal scale going to Foreman, Arkansas all right more later all right folks we're arriving here in Foreman, Arkansas at the cement plant I've been here before but I'll try to film a little bit of this Ash Grove cement is what it's called. I can see there's a couple of, man, there's like four trucks in there trying to exit, it looks like. So, uh, I'm gonna, nah, I can pull on up a little bit, I guess, before I get out and take my tarp off. Busy place today. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right here and wait till I can get into the scale. Okay, so those trucks have cleared out. I hopped out while they were moving around and got my mud flaps put away so I can dump. Still got a big pile of material up there. Kind of a weird turn here. Don't want to fall off the edge in the ditch there. <laughs> All right, now this, this little booth up here is just kind of a self-serve. You go in and uh, enter a couple of things into their computer. They print you off a ticket, and then uh, you scale out, and it prints your paperwork for you. So, uh, and then we're going to go straight up there by that pile and and unload. 
Okay, well I got my check-in paperwork. That took two or three minutes. Now, uh, like I said, we're just gonna pull up here and back up right in front of this uh, pile of mill scale. Try to get my rear tires on the flattest uh, ground I can find. I'll try to show you some of it. Uh, but there it is, to the left there. Looks like there's enough room to back up there. Kind of like the last time I was here. Let's give you a look of this. All right, hang on. All right, folks. That went well, no problems. The printer actually worked this time for the first time. I did not get any footage because there was a a loader back there with a front end loader guy that was wanting to get to the pile and move some stuff around. So I swept it out. It dumped out real good. I swept it out though. There was just a little bit left. Best load I've had of this stuff as far as how much was left. And uh, you know, I was getting tried to get out of his way as quick as I could but uh, it's a trouble free trouble free dump so my dispatcher Joey called me back as I was backing up there to dump he had told me earlier that he wanted me to head back to North Little Rock to get something in the morning of course I don't have enough time to get back to North Little Rock. In fact, I only have like 35 minutes left on my clock. But, um, sorry, I'm adjusting my GPS here. He told me instead to head to El Dorado for another load of uh, ammonia nitrate which is cool, I like that load. That's a good run from El Dorado, Arkansas to Hillsboro, Kansas. No complaints there, I'll take it. So that's what we're doing. I've got a Love's about uh, 30 miles away. I'm gonna try to get there before I run out of time. <laughs> we'll pick this up later.